Lord Corporation's thermally conductive potting and encapsulation materials were designed for applications where heat is an issue. In this video, we show how to redisperse settled filler using a jiffy mixer and how to minimize air bubbles and voids in the material by de-airing it in a vacuum chamber. Please note that this video was shot in a lab environment, so the material was applied manually. In a production environment, automation equipment will make the application process considerably more precise and efficient. Before we begin, it's important to think safety first. When working with any Lord potting materials, please make sure to wear the correct personal protective equipment listed in Section 8 of the Safety Data Sheet. Information about first aid measures, accidental spill measures, and proper handling and storage techniques may also be found in the Safety Data Sheet. Thermally conductive potting products contain fillers that may settle to the bottom of the package. Upon opening a new container, it's important to check for settled material. Most of the time, settling is apparent due to a clear liquid layer at the top of the pail. However, even if there is no liquid layer present, there may be dense areas of fillers at the bottom of the package. It's important to thoroughly re-suspend the ingredients of the resin and hardener individually prior to combining them. Mixing can be done via manual or mechanical means. For manual builds or small-scale manufacturing, a jiffy mixer attachment for a drill is an inexpensive and convenient method for homogenizing the material. Larger volume applications will require drum-mounted mixing or barrel rollers. After mixing, run a clean stirrer along the bottom of the pail to check for any leftover filler. The material should be uniform in color and density before use in potting applications. Air may be introduced into the encapsulant system either during mixing or when catalyzing the mixture. And because the electrical and thermal properties of encapsulants are best when air bubbles and voids are minimized, vacuum degassing is recommended. Once the vacuum is applied, the material will swell from the entrapped air and then collapse once all of the air has been removed. This is a good indication that the material is thoroughly degassed and ready for use.